All right, welcome back, everybody, to uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Old Guy Gaming, and we're going to pick up right where we left off uh, in the last episode. We are in the camp right now. It is also nighttime, as you can tell. Um, what I'd like to do for the first part of this episode is just go uh, maybe do a little bit of hunting. I'm not sure I'm, you know, if we need to do that at night, so we probably what we ought to do is sleep for a bit, and then we'll go out and do some hunting because we need to get some food here for our camp. So let's go uh, over to our... Our place here and we're just gonna sleep until hopefully until dawn uh, or as close as possible to dawn and then we'll we'll go out and do some hunting okay so we can sleep oh, okay so we can sleep just until the morning uh, so yeah let's do that because that's perfect we don't want to go hunting in the dark because we won't be able to see anything we might shoot the wrong thing <laughs> stacking up some Z's here Love the music in this game, too. I mean, I love everything about this game so far. It's just uh, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Uh, you know, and the, bad, and the game, you know, has gotten such good reviews, too. So I can I can see why. And, you know, we just barely got started, too. So we got a lot of fun ahead of us. All right. So it's morning. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to find our hoss. And we're going to go out and we're going to do a little bit of hunting. There are other things around the camp. You know, there's letters and books and things we can pick up. Uh, at some point that we, we, you know, we'll do too, but I'm not, you know, I'm not going to just go around and do all of that in one shot. We'll just kind of do it as we come to it. All right. So let's grab our horse. Oh, I was told too, uh, by somebody on my discord that our horse's name isn't Tennessee Walker. That's actually the breed of our horse. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, that breaks the question though. Can we actually name the horse? Is that possible to do? What if we wanted to like name him, right? I don't know. Here, let's look here. Let's go to, uh, let's go to player and click on our horse. Is there a place here we can name him? Overview, physique, bonding, health, stamina, blah, blah, blah. I don't see a place where we can name him. That That's interesting. There's got to be a way to do that. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see if, uh, you know, that becomes evident later on. Or if you guys, you know, know, let me know in the comments. Uh, how to do that. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and mount up here. Um, for those of you watching on YouTube, I am actually live streaming this too, so uh, we'll keep the you know the overlay off and the alerts uh, off and that stuff to a minimum. I just want to let you know that I will be live streaming, so I'll probably at points in time you know address the the viewers and so forth. Okay, so let's move out of the camp. And um, where do we want to go? Let, let's go down this draw here and see see what we can find out down this draw. Now, the other thing I want to do, too, is I want to get my... What is that over there? I heard hooves. I don't know if that's another horse or something else. Anyway, I want to get my uh, weapons ready, so let's, let's get down here a little ways. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I did mean to do that. Um, and we want to go here, and so in this slot, we're going to equip our our repeater. And then in this slot here, we're going to equip our bow. And I think if we come across some, some game birds, a uh, shotgun's going to be better for that. So let's equip the shotgun in that slot there. So we're ready to go with those things. All right, so let's just move, bloop, let's just move down this draw and see um, if there's anything uh, to see here for hunting. Hopefully we can find, you know, a, a deer or another elk maybe. Oh, wait, not another elk. I'm confusing this with the, uh, with with Eco. <laughs> I killed an elk in Eco a couple episodes ago. Um, so let's get a little bit further away from camp, and then we'll go from there. How's it going, Craven Black Gaming? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, we are, just so you know, we are recording for YouTube, so uh, we'll have minimal... Uh, alerts and overlays and that sort of thing, but I will uh, pause periodically and uh, get updated on chat. Uh, but uh, feel free to chat away, and uh, thanks for coming on, coming by. I appreciate it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop here, and we're just going to bring up our eagle eye for a second. Uh, okay, so it looks like there's some tracks. Is that tracks or is that sunlight? Not sure. Oh, yeah, those are definitely tracks. Okay, let's uh, hop off the horse for a minute, though, because... No, that's not tracks. That's sunlight. Okay. 
One of the things the eagle eye will show us, but I don't think it shows us while we're on the horse, is which direction the wind's going. Okay, good. The wind is actually um, at our back, which is great. So we're going into the wind, and that's perfect because then anything in front of us is not going to get our scent. That's exactly what we want to have happen. Okay, let's hop back on our horse who's not named Tennessee Walker. We could still name him that. There's no, you know, no rule that says we can't name him Tennessee Walker. But that's his breed. It's a nice looking horse. He's my hoss. So we're going to go down this draw a little ways more, but let's not, let's just be cool and quiet about this because if we just go charge it down here, we might scare something. Okay, there's some, some bunnies. I mean, we can certainly, you know, get some of those if we have to, but I'd, I'd like to find some, some big game if we can. Yeah, lots of tracks around over there. Oh, there's, it looks like there's antelope off to the left. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and hitch Tennessee Walker down here. So he stays put. And we're going to, uh, yeah, see, that guy's not very far away at all. Uh, we could use our bow, but let's, uh, let's just go ahead and get our, our repeater out. And what I'm going to do is we're going to dead-eye him so we we make sure and get a clean shot. So let's wait till he gets his head back up. <laughs> okay. I was only going to shoot once, but uh, apparently the dead-eye decided I should shoot three times. But hey, you know what? It was a headshot. It was a clean kill. That's exactly what we wanted. The animal didn't suffer, and the hide's going to be in the best shape that it can be in. That's what, exactly what we wanted to do. So, yeah, the dead eye, when when you mark something with dead eye, because it kind of happens automatically, man, it, it's like super fast. I, only, I was only trying to mark him once, but it's what it is. Okay, look at that. That looks like a pronghorn to me. We have those actually where I live, too. Easy, Tennessee. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we could skin him and then, you know, like sell the skin or use it for crafting, but right now our camp needs food. So I think we're just going to donate the whole entire carcass to the camp. Uh, we might go, go out and see. Give me a minute, boy. No, no, no. I don't want you to skin him. Did I hit the wrong thing? I hit the wrong thing. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay, that might be a problem because I don't know if we can carry the skin and the carcass separately. Here, let's see if we can stow this on the horse. Oh, we got a compendium update too, so let's check that out really quick, because this is the first time our character has encountered uh, an, it's a, an American pronghorn buck. Okay, the American pronghorn buck is native to the wide open grasslands of New Hanover and West Elizabeth. As herbivores, their diet includes sagebrush, green shoots, grasses, and, and forbs. What are forbs? Forbs is like a, a financial thing. <laughs> I didn't know it was something you could eat. That uh, must be a word for something else, maybe. I don't know. As a large animal, a high-impact weapon is needed when hunting. The most popular weapons used when hunting are rifles, bows, and uh, and bows with poison arrows, which we don't have yet. Pronghorn skin can be used for crafting, and their meat can be used for cooking. Okay, cool. So, um, see, the total progress says 50%. I haven't quite figured out what that means yet, but maybe it means that if we kill another one, then we, we get 100% and we can maybe use more of its parts. I don't know. <laughs> not sure what that means, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so here, let's let's do this. Let's put the hide in here, so we'll stow it on the horse, and then let's see if we can also stow... We should be able to put the, the carcass on top of the, the hide, I would think. Otherwise, we're going to have to come back for it, I guess. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's going to let us do it. All right. So we just saved our cook the, the trouble of, of skinning the, the game there. Okay, let's head on back, and we will give this to our camp, and then we'll, um, then we'll go out and look for something else. Yeah. Okay. 
the last game that I played that was in some ways kind of like this um, was um, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance. And man, I you know, I didn't stream that or even record it. I just kind of played it by myself because, you know, I, I just wanted to kind of relax, you know, kind of thing. But uh, this game is kind of reminiscent of that, at least in terms of the world and just being able to go out and having these, you know, big, beautiful landscapes and being able to hunt and do stuff like that. So uh, really cool. Okay, let's hitch our horse here. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, take the pronghorn off. And we'll go take this over to our cook. Pearson is his name. That's John Marston over there. He's he's the star of Red Dead One. If you guys didn't know that, you'll freeze. I'll freeze. What do you mean I'll freeze? Am I cold? Can I tell you something? Always. I'm frightened, Hosea. Real frightened. Of what? I like to listen to their dialogue. Pinkertons, bounty hunters. It all feels. We've been in bad situations before, but. Like my whole life's been one long bad situation. I'm a mother. I know, my dear. Well, what are we gonna do? Is Dutch a We'll wait for them to I finish mean, talking to them. He's anymore. always found a way, but lately I I know, dear. Look, she's having some doubts. We don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. If I were you. Think of the boy and make plans. I think that's Marston's wife. Wish John would yeah, it is. I care about him. Damn fool that he is. <laughs> I know okay, here. here, let's let's proceed. We can't wait here you know, all day. These hides and furs can also Jack be done up into coats call. and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts, Canadian feller, skilled tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, I know. That's good Thanks, to know. Pearson. All right, so let's go ahead and donate uh, this antelope for the good. camp. Good, really needed this. And we can go ahead and just give him the, the pronghorn hide, too, because we Not don't... Not the best quality, I'm afraid. Well, you know what? I don't know why. I mean, I got a headshot off on him. Maybe maybe the, the coat wasn't in good shape to Thank begin you, with. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, so we... Uh, looks like we need to... Yeah, it looks like we need to get another one because the little drumstick in the upper right-hand corner is still red. I think that'll turn white if we, uh, you know, if we get enough food for the camp. Besides, I wanted to go out and do a little more hunting anyways. All right, so let's go back out and um, uh, see if we can get a, get ourselves another another deer or something. I had a, had a little a technical issue I had to take care of uh, on the stream, but I think we're in good shape now. Oh, Maru, thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. Dan, thank you, too. I I, I didn't really get a chance to thank you uh, for that sub. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you, man. Uh, like I said, I will, uh, it is definitely my plan to start streaming there, more frequently as time goes on. Uh, okay, so let's get on our horse. And... Wash all that blood off. Oh, we do have blood on us. Look at that. That is like so much detail. I wonder if there's a place for us to be able to wash our clothes. I'll bet there probably is. You know, another thing, too, um, one of those guys in the camps made some comment about me not being dressed properly. I wonder if we should probably look at that maybe when we get back to camp in terms of the temperature, because the temperature will will affect your character. I'd like to kind of ride down by the river and check it out, too. You know, one thing this game has in it is fishing, but I don't have a fishing pole. You have to have a fishing pole. So once we get a hold of one of those, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try some fishing. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, let's be careful here uh, that we don't um, spook anything. Oh, like there's a, a ruin something down there. Okay, let's hop off and check the wind direction. Perfect. Okay, so the wind is still at our back, which is exactly what we want. 
I don't know why it doesn't show me that while I'm on the horse. The horse even has blood all over his butt. <laughs> okay, boy. That's funny, man. I wonder if that wears off after a while or if you have to if you have to wash it off. I'm not sure. In the case of the horse, we'd have to groom him. All right, let's very carefully go just over the top of this little ridge here. And uh, you know, then we'll then we'll do a little bit of scouting with our uh, eagle eye. Thank you, Maruski, for 31 months. That is fantastic. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Um, okay, so... Let's just go over the top of this little knoll here. Looks like there's some burnt forest or something off that other direction. Okay, let's hop off. And do an eagle eye here. Okay, there's some tracks right there. Oh, that was a buck! That was a big buck. And wild horses? Ooh, I wonder if we can catch those guys. I know you could in Red Dead 1. Interesting. Okay. All right, so we've got a buck, you guys, and we, we have his trail. So here's what we're going to do. Let's, um... Let's get our weapons, first of all, because we might need those. Maybe, you think? Um, so uh, when we go into the camp, it, it takes all our weapons off of us, so we have to reset them here. Okay, we're going to very carefully just ride this way a little bit because the buck took off in that direction, which is good because that's still downwind of us. Or upwind of us, I mean. His trail was uh, right along here, but I don't think Eagle Eye works quite right when we're, not, when we're on the horse. Oh, there he is. Or there's a deer. I don't know if that's the buck. Okay, there is another deer off that way, too. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hitch Tennessee Walker here. Yeah, I know that's his breed, Varg, but that's what I'm calling him because <laughs> I like that name. Horse bonding increased to level 3. You've unlocked skid turns and skid stops with this horse. Hold left control and left shift while moving to perform these moves. Ooh, and his health increased, too. Nice. Okay. So the more time we spend with our horse, we, we bond with it, and that improves the stats of the horse. Very cool. Okay, so we got a deer down there. Um, let's just get right up over this way. And I want to get my binocs out and see... Um, where are my binoculars? Oh, do... They must be on the horse. Or are they in my satchel? I'm still trying to figure this all out. Right here. Okay. Wait, what? Use. Okay, that's a doe. It got alerted by something, but the the first the first deer that I saw. Oh, it's a rider. That's why. The first deer I saw was a buck. I saw a rack on his head. Well, doggone it, that, that person just scared him off. Should we shoot him, Maru? <laughs> Probably wouldn't be very nice, huh? All right, well, here's what we're going to do. Let's put these away. Um, let's do an eagle eye here. Okay, so we still have tracks. So what we can do is hold Q down, and then we can follow the tracks. But, you know, with that rider that came down the hill, I don't know, man. Oh, 
Oh, those circle back around. Okay, well, those tracks aren't really going to help us then. Well, let's just move up this way. We can always uh, whistle for Tennessee Walker to come. Oh. oh. Is that something over there? It is. Okay. Okay, we, do, we don't have a clean shot. Yep, that's the buck. That's the buck. Okay. Here we go. Nice. Clean headshot. Of course, that wouldn't have been good... If we wanted him for a mount, that, that's not what we wanted for. We wanted him for meat. Okay, let's get the hoss. I guess I could have whistled to him. Yeah. See, we took him down right over here, right? Yep, there he is. Okay, that looks that looks like a four point. Yeah, I think that would it's either a four or a five point uh, by west western United States. Anyways, um, let's okay. Let's make sure we pick them up this time and not look at that deer, man. That's beautiful. We got a white tail buck, so we got a compendium update. Let's see what it has to say about that. <laughs> um, okay, the whitetail buck can be found in forested areas across the states. It is an herbivore and consumes nuts, buds, twigs, green plants. Keeping your distance from hunting can increase long uh, the kill long-range weapons like rifle or bow with poison arrows. Pretty much, it's the same information that uh, you know that we saw for the other thing, and we can use it in thyme venison recipe. So we've taken down a whitetail deer, a whitetail buck, and somewhere in here is the antelope. Yeah, or the pronghorn. Not really technically an antelope, I guess. Cool. Okay. That's good, boy. Come on, boy. Man, you could really immerse yourself in this game. Yeah. I mean, I, I could spend hours just hunting. <laughs> Not even doing anything else. That buck was right below the camp, too. Okay, so, got a hitching post over here. I don't know why my guy keeps pulling his bow out. It's a little odd. Okay. That hide looks like it's in good shape. in the ground in their place a hundred times over if I could. But things, they don't work like that. Listen. We need to keep pushing. Well, how's that food? It ain't time oh, yet to let things wither and die. Okay. All, those, all those dreams we had. We'll let Dutch give his speech. It, it he liked to give speeches. Because that's all we got. Well, That's that should certainly that feed us all. I hope so. Ideas. It is that or be a monkey. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Well, here you go. I got something to fix that. Very good. We were getting low. Okay. Um, let's see. We've got mature venison meat, which means it's probably getting close to spoiling, so I wonder if we should just... Let's do. Let, let's do this. Let's give him that, and we'll give him 
this uh, stringy meat. Well, I'll take what I can get. And this is animal fat, which we can use for crafting. So I'm going to hang on to that. But this, we're going to cook this so it doesn't go bad. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Because going forward makes me an angel of God and not no monkey. Oh, Dutch, you're so full of yourself. Okay, so that, I guess that still didn't Hi fill there. up the fill up the drumstick. So I guess we need to go get more food. Ask yourself. The thing I want to know though is, can we eat stew yet? No, I guess not. He'll have a pot here when it's when it's time for us to eat. Okay, well, let's do some more hunting. You played 200 hours of the game. Nice, man. And 150 of them were hunting. I can believe it. I can believe it, man. I mean, seriously, I could spend hours just going out hunting. Really fun. Okay, well, we need to get what? We need to get uh, something else. That still wasn't enough. I thought that would be enough, but I guess it isn't. So let's. Um, oh, we got to get out of the camp before we can put our weapons back on. Okay, I want to head down towards that burned area next. Um, the other thing I want to, we need to be on the lookout for are herbs because we can. Uh, our eagle eye will show us where herbs are, and when we start learning and picking those, you know, we can we can start crafting things. Let's take a look at our map. Whoa. Okay, so we're basically heading north, up into this area. Uh, let's not do that. Let's let's uh, turn and head west because I want to go down by the river. Oh, okay. So the map actually, <coughs> excuse me, kind of shows us where different types of critters are. That's interesting. Easy. Oh yeah, that sounds like fun, man. I played um, what was it? Uh, Far Cry, a uh, Far Cry. What was the, the caveman Far Cry game? Primal, right? Primal? I think that's what, yeah. Uh, that game was a lot of fun, too. Uh, and, you know, you, you did, like, big hunts in that game, too. Actually, I really like that game. Okay. I think this is an herb here. Easy there. Plants and herbs that you can pick will be highlighted in Eagle Eye. Yep, we already know that. One of six Yarrow picked. Herbalist one. So maybe we have to just pick six in order to level herbal herbalism? Is that what that is all about? Let's see if there's anything else around. No, I see some tracks over that way, but there's someone going down the the lane there on a on a horse too. Is this uh an herb here? Nope. You have unlocked the herbless challenge. Check your log for more information. Okay, boy. Okay, we'll look at that later. Let's kind of go check out this burned area, and I want to go down by the river. Okay, we scared up some more deer. Man, this game looks so good. On, on my monitor, I'm playing it on 2K. Got a destroyed wagon here. Ooh, I wonder if there's loot we could check out. Oh, shit! I just heard a cougar. We didn't, uh...
Off that way. I don't know if that's a mountain lion or if it's a bobcat, but let's go check it out. Get away from me now! Fuera! What? Oh, does the mountain lion got somebody stuck up in a tree? I want to see where the mountain lion is first. We have our shotgun on us too, right? Yeah, okay. In fact, let's let's pull this out in case we get jumped. Malditos pumas. All right, so it is a cougar. Looks like Ay, mierda, no me quedan balas. Is he like attacking the guy? Kind of sounds that way, huh? Oh, here he comes. Oh, shit. <laughs> He killed us, man. Right in the back of the neck. I didn't even see him come until it was too late. And then I, I panicked and didn't hit the dead eye correctly. Damn it. Oh, that's scary. That son of a bitch was like, just honest. I didn't even see him until it was too late. Oh, man. Not good. Okay, well, that happens, right? Um, Where does that put us then? Okay, there's our hoss. Oh man, that was bad. That was really bad. So we're down we're down north of the camp. Okay. I don't suppose that cougar's still over there. We can go get revenge. Oh man, look at the landscape. That is beautiful. <laughs> I know you guys. All right, thank you, Maru. Appreciate it. Thank you very much again for the resub, too. Uh, all right, I want to go... So, our camp's back this way. Let's go back this way. Let me look and see where we're going. So we were we were coming down this way and then the burn area I think was somewhere in here. But maybe on the other side of this this ridge. Yeah, that was that was brutal, man. That cougar messed me up. Oh, look at the rock slide down the hill. That is so cool. Just, you know, the realism and everything. Um, okay, so let's see. Okay, yeah, there's the burned area. And there's a horse and a guy camping. Let's look at our map again. So I think maybe the cougar ate us and then just left this guy alone. Is that what happened there? If he attacks us again, then we're going to use Deadeye on him. All 
I have a feeling, though, that, that was probably just a, a scripted event, and he's probably long gone by now. All right, well, let's go. Let's go talk to this feller over here and see what he has to say. Hey, this camp ain't no damn guest house. What you want? Did you see uh, a guy? Now. Hey, easy feller. Okay, I'm leaving. You better make yourself scarce. I'm working on it. You're not very neighborly. I'll help you die. That's what you want. All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Don't shoot me. Son of a... Okay, well, doggone it. Let's go down by the the river. And then uh, we'll see if we can get some more game on the way back. We might be able to just get this guy here. Where did he go? Not too far away now. Look at this river, you guys. This is like so realistic looking. Wonder if there's steelhead trout in here. We gotta get ourselves a fishing pole. I love this. This is so cool. Here, let's, uh... I don't know why he doesn't, um, put that back on his shoulder. That's weird. You are cold. While cold, your health health core will drain faster. Change clothes to warm up. Yeah, we need to get some. We need to get some uh, clothes on our horse. Can we swim underwater? Well, you know what? My guy needed a bath anyway, so. Oh, we're getting cold. Get out of the water, quick. Okay, we better, um... I think we have, like, a campfire or something in here, right? Let's take a look. Equipment, yeah. It is coming down. Yeah, I agree, Wyoming. That guy did not want me around. Okay, so while we're in our little camp here, uh, we have the option to craft. Let's just take a look at that because I haven't really looked at that. Gritty fish, plain venison. All right. Uh, we wanted to cook this before it went bad, right? So let's do that. Looks like the rain stopped too, unless that's just because of our campfire scene. Okay, let's eat up. Delicious. Okay, we can also cook some fish. Um, Yeah, I guess so. Might as well cook it. I'm not sure when I got that. I must have looted it because I, I haven't been fishing yet. Okay, let's just stow that. You can you can get fat if you eat too much. <laughs> oh, 
oh, I should have, I should put the gun away when I'm talking to people. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. That makes actually a lot of sense. I didn't even think about that. Okay. Let's, uh... So yeah, see, it says overeating will cause you to gain weight while not eating regularly will cause you to lose weight. And then I'm sure that affects things like our stamina and health and whatnot. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and leave the camp. I'm curious to see if it's going to still be raining or if that's just... No, it's not. Okay. Oh, man, you guys, this game is so freaking fun. Looks like we got some building or something going on over there. How did, wait a minute, wasn't I down by the river? How did I get up here? <laughs> what? We were down by the river. Boy. That doesn't make sense. Look at that view. Easy boy, easy. It's all right. Oh, <laughs> he just grabbed. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Horse apples. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so, yeah. I don't know why the game put us up here when we were down by the river. I guess you can't camp by rivers or something, maybe? That's funny. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find one more critter that we can bring back to camp. And then, uh, then we'll go ahead and start another quest here. Where is camp, by the way? I'm, like, completely disoriented now. Okay, so it's off uh, to the north. What's that? That's a show. Ugh. Interesting. Okay. Um. So let's hit this. Well, if we can go kind of cross country this way, that'd be better if we're going to hunt. So, yeah, let's go this way. Oh, the other thing, too, is we can create... Uh, a marker so let's do that let's add a marker or wait yeah waypoint all oh, right okay so when we do that it actually gives us um the best path to follow to get there okay cool good stuff so it's actually wanting us to go this way oh right to get to the road okay so we're not going to actually follow that directly, though, because we want to do a little more hunting. So let's let's go this way. See if there's any herbs around. I'm still a little shook up, man, by, the <laughs> by that damn mountain light. He really wrecked us. We have mountain lions around here, too. You know, I live in Colorado, and uh, it can be a problem. Just look around. Okay, our scent's um, heading off that direction, kind of to the west, so we'll have to keep that in mind. There's something over here. Oh, turkeys! Okay, here. Let's uh, let's hop off you. Okay, boy. Let's go. Okay, how come? It's not giving me the option to, to hitch him like it was before. Maybe it's because of the ground we're on or something. Okay, let's check our weapons here. So we've got that. Uh, I want... Let's get the bow in that hand. Or in that spot, I should say. All right, Tennessee, you stay here. Don't go anywhere, boy. I'm not sure how far away those turkeys would have wandered, but let's just see if we can catch one. Okay. 
We got some herbs over there. Let's go check those out. Creeping time. Hold F1 for details. This is an evergreen sub shrub with woody stems, small green leaves, and tiny purple bell shaped flowers. The durability of this plant means that it can be found in most places across America. The plant can be found growing in soil, thin soil near riverbanks, sandy soil, and near rocks. The herb can be consumed to replenish your dead eye core. Oh, nice. Okay. Or as a seasoning when cooking. Okay, that's good to know. So, so far we've found Creeping Time and American Ginseng, but that the quest actually found that for us. Oh, and we've also found Taro. Good deal. Okay. Are those turkeys anywhere around? Don't see them. They might, they might be long gone, but we'll, we'll at least go up to the edge of the ridge there. Before we give up. Oh, I just ate that? I did. <laughs> I hit E instead of R. Can't take me anywhere. Okay, I hear him off that direction, but isn't that the way our scent's going? Oh no, our scent's going behind us, okay. So let's move there, but let's check this place out first. Nothing here, really. Okay, let's move towards the turkeys. Wild turkeys are, are supposed to be very difficult to hunt in real life. I've never hunted them before. I've seen them. Oh, they're right there. Uh, okay, these branches are kind of in the way. Uh, let's grab this. I need a better shot. That stupid branch. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and... That guy's still there? How come... <laughs> How come that guy didn't run away? That, that dead eye is like, it's so overkill. It's kind of funny. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. Is there a way to, uh, is there a way to turn that, the automatic off and just let me assign it? Because it's just, it's crazy, man. But wow, look at these birds. Come here, Tennessee. Where are you going? Um... Does he not have a clear path to us? Oh, yeah, that's what it was. All right, look at this, man. Three turkey toms. So can we... What if we can stash them all on the horse? Let's take a look at the compendium, too. The eastern wild turkey can be found in the forested or brushy regions of West Elizabeth, New Hanover, and Lemoyne. 
an opportunistic opportunistic omnivores, oh, as opportunistic omnivores, they can be found foraging for insects, seeds, and grasses. The easiest way to take down a bird of this size whilst hunting is by using a varmint rifle. Um, their feathers can be used for crafting, and their plump meat can be used as a source of food. Very nice. Okay, can be used in time plump bird recipe. All right. So let's see how many of these we can stow on the horse. No. <laughs> Dude. He's like going for it, isn't he? Well, Tennessee's, you know, when you got to go, you got to go, whether you're a person or a horse, right? Okay, cool. So we'll be able to take... Oh, no, we can't take them all back. Oh, man. All right. Um, Let's see then. How far away are we from camp? Lucky's Cabin. That'd be a little bit of a walk, but I guess it's not super far away. I don't have very much space in my satchel, so I suppose the other thing I could do is leave him here and come back for him. All right, well let's go. Let's go over by this bridge because we can't go down through there on foot anyway. Oh. Um, how many of you are there? Where's my hat? I think we lost our hat when that when that cougar ate us. That sucks. Unless it's on the horse. Okay, let's um see how many of these guys there are. I see two. No, I see three. There's a guy off that way. There's another guy off that way, too. So if there's if it's just those four, we could maybe try and dead eye all four of them, but I don't know, that might be kind of risky. <laughs> um hmm. Okay, let's get our hoss over here. Chasing me? Better. 
Yeah, I, I, I gotta be honest with you. I don't like the, the automatic dead eye because it's, it's just too fast. You hover the cursor over, and then it like marks one guy three yeah. times. Yep. Well, we shot them boys, but we didn't kill them. Is that a Driscoll? No, it's a stranger. Okay, we're not going to shoot innocent people. Well, I guess that's more hunting than I'd get if I tried. Yep. Okay, let's go. Let's kind of carefully go back this way and see what's going on here. It's empty. Okay, here. Let's um let's go here. And this will fully restore dead eye slightly slightly damages dead eye core. No, I don't think we want to do that. Fully restores health stamina dead eye and fortifies slightly. We've got two of those. Fully restores health stamina and dead eye. You. Stay back from the wagon, sir. Transporting a fugitive. Hey! Hey, you! Please! You, you gotta get me out of here! I don't gotta do anything. Shut up and keep still! Wait, what happened to the... <laughs> what happened to the bad guys? They're not there anymore. Okay, let's grab our turkey. I should have only shot two of these damn things, not three. <laughs> All right, can I lead the horse? I guess uh, it's not going to let me do it. Wait, let's try this one more time. Replace horse cargo. No. All right, well, we'll just walk ahead a little ways and then whistle for him to come. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the O'Driscolls. I didn't kill them because they were still coming after me after I shot at them. That must be just like a, a random event kind of thing. There's some antelope over that way. All right, where are we at? Let's take a look. Yeah, we're on the road to the to the camp. Okay, let's do it. Go save that random guy. Well, I'd think about it, but um, I got to get this game back to camp before it spoils. It's a fine evening. Yes, yeah, sir. It sure is fine evening. All right, where are we at? Siri, for some reason, just decided to to fire off. Oh, shit, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> no, 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 wait a minute. Okay, hold on, I'm confused. That's Valentine. We need to go here to our camp. Okay, I'm glad I stopped to look, because I... I, I tagged the wrong thing. So let's go down this way. Oh, <laughs> that's a song, huh? Never heard of it. It's starting to get dark out. You know, the one thing I don't like, and this is, you know, in the grand scheme of things, a very minor thing, but I don't like that we camped down by the river, but then it put us way up on this other ridge. I don't get that. Is that a bug, or was that supposed to happen? Oh, he's following me. Awesome. Okay.
have to watch our stamina. We can't get going too crazy here. Hopefully we don't run into any mountain lions. We've had bad luck with them, haven't we? Howdy, mister. I travel alone. That, that's fine. Is Tennessee coming? Put your gun away, feller. I mean you no harm. I surely hope we don't run into any bad guys. <laughs> These guys don't look Stop like bad guys. Get the hell out of here. That was rude. We seem to be able to keep up this pace pretty good without losing a bunch of stamina. Oh, we gotta go this way. Okay, yeah, there's the burn forest where the cougar ate us for dinner. Yeah, but the problem with that is then I also have a, a hide, and I can't carry the hide and the carcass at the same time, and there's no more room on the horse. We're almost there now, anyway. Ooh, look at the stars. Beautiful. You coming, Tennessee? Man, I hope we can get our hat back. <laughs> we lost it when we got attacked. Hey, who's there? It's me. It's Arthur. Don't shoot me. Hope you've been good out there. I'm bringing back some Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, so I guess Tennessee will stay there. Yeah, I think I, I think he'll stay there. Okay, let's go turn this in, and then we'll go grab the other two. Thought you been standing there all day? You must have some warm blood if that's all you're wearing. See, that's the second guy that said something about my outfit not being appropriate. I'm getting too old. I guess we better look at that too. Living in tents on the run. Looks like we gonna eat well tonight. You betcha. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. Well, here you go. Uh, donate for provisions. All right. Let me see. Oh, okay, good. We got the, the drumstick thing now is uh, white, so we supplied our camp with plenty of food. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. We're going to have to come up with medicine and extra ammo later, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Oh, hello. Okay, where's Tennessee at? Is he just hanging out over here? Looks like it. I didn't see an option to hitch them without uh, mounting up first. All right, so let's go ahead and go to our our little camp here. I want to look at our clothing situation. 
Because apparently we're not wearing the right clothes here. Okay, we were wearing this hat. And it looks like it was already on the horse anyways. Okay, so we got the hat back. Let's go... Um, let's see. Let's go back to here. So this is... I like this outfit. This outfit looks really good, but apparently it's not the right one. It says this outfit is suitable for average temperatures, but we I guess we're still kind of in a colder environment. So let's see. This is average. This is hot. Hot. Winter gunslinger. Um, that's what we wore up in the mountains. That's hot, that's hot, and that's average. Okay, so... This two... Okay, so I guess that's what we need to be wearing. It doesn't seem like it would be that cold here, but maybe it is. You have no outfit suitable for hot weather on your horse. Uh, we probably might want to do something about that too, huh? Okay, so let's go outfits. Okay, which um, which one of these do we like the most for hot weather? Kind of like that one. That one's pretty basic. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's store this one on the horse. So now we have this is already on the horse uh, here. So this is moderate weather, this is cold weather, and this is hot weather. Good. Dang, it's dark out. Okay, so let's see. Arthur could stand to eat something. Why don't we go into here? Uh, where is the lantern? I guess that's in my satchel. I had a lantern. What happened to it? Did the cougar eat that, too? Got a camera, a watch, a pocket watch. Hmm. Maybe it's on the horse. Right. Yeah, I was I'm just donating it to the camp now cuz our camp needed food, but later on we'll we'll sell it for money. All right, let's look in the horse cargo for a minute. I s I could have sworn I had a lantern, but I guess I don't. Huh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's go over here and see if there's any stew for us. We need to eat ourselves. There better be, man. We're, we're the one that supplied all the food for the camp. Ah, here we go. Look at that stew. Meat stew. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Good to see you. Uh-oh! I think we overate. <laughs> Did we just overeat? Is that what that meant? Do we look fatter now? That's funny. Here, let's um let's go here. Weight is average. Okay, I think I think before it was like ideal, so yeah, we gotta watch out. Watch that. So we won't be eating for a while. That venison that we ate in the campfire, probably we hadn't fully digested that yet, I'm guessing. 
The problem with being overweight is, you know, your stamina isn't as good. Plus, it's not good for your heart either. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I think uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap up uh, the episode here. Uh, so I think what we'll do in the next episode is we will get back to doing some questing. And so we've got, um, if we look on the map, we've got uh, Uncle here. Um, and we'll probably do that one next just because it's the closest one. But then we also have uh, this one to do here, uh, Reverend Swanson. And we've got Javier Escuela in Valentine. And, and so we'll probably do this one last uh, so that we can, you know, uh, go into Valentine after we do these ones that are kind of out in the boonies. Unless these ones lead us in there, maybe so. I don't know. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And don't forget, uh, you're welcome to leave comments, help me out with the game, but please, no spoilers. All right, we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.